Well, hello, class, and welcome to Social Ethics Philosophy 226. The purpose of this video lecture is to tell you how to navigate the course website, uh, to tell you how to find your various assignments and what those assignments are, uh, to tell you the grade distributions for the class and how assignments will be weighted, and to just give you a general idea of what the rules and regulations are for this course. Before we get any further, however, I'd like to go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Jesse Newton, and I will be your professor for this semester. I regularly teach classes in philosophy here at Tidewater Community College. Uh, my email address, if you need to get in contact with me, which I suspect everyone in this class will at uh, various points throughout the semester, uh, is located right here, as well as on the course syllabus. I typically respond within a day. Uh, but I'm going to give myself two business days, that's Monday through Friday, uh, to get back to you if you guys have any kind of questions that come up throughout the semester. Uh, I'll, and it's rare that I'll take longer than two business days, that's only if some kind of uh, extenuating circumstances arise. Now to begin, I want to just start by looking at the class website and to tell you where uh, certain things are located. And hopefully you've, already, you've logged in. Well, if you've gotten to this point, you have logged in. And you should have noticed right here in the center there is a course uh, announcement. And I don't create an announcement every single week, uh, but there probably will be uh, announcements made periodically throughout the semester. Uh, and the purpose of the announcement is just to kind of summarize and let you know where we are in the, the course, uh, to let you know if anything is changing in the course. Uh, and just to remind you of various assignments that are due. Now, something that's going to be really important for you as you navigate through the course is uh, the um, hypertext over here on the left. And you'll notice that there's one for announcements, and if you click on that, it'll have a list of all the running announcements that have been made throughout the semester. There is this um, link right here, and it says Start Here. And if you go and you click on it, you're going to find some important information for the class. Uh, you can click on this, you can learn a little bit about me, you can click on here and this gives you a course description. Uh, notice here I have um, no required textbooks that you have to purchase for this class. All the materials that you're going to read are posted on Blackboard, so you don't have to buy a book. You can, you can save your $150 for something more important, I suppose. Uh, here is uh, something called First Steps, which basically just gives you a description of the various items listed over here on the left-hand side. And here is, I'm sorry, that's what How to Navigate This Course does. First Steps uh, tells you how to begin when you're first starting the course. There's a link here for net netiquette, which is basically how you behave in an online course. Uh, and so you can access all this by clicking start here. This next one up here I want to um, highlight is course information. And click on course information, you're going to see that there is down here a policy for plagiarism. But uh, what's going to be more important for day-to-day -day operations is what is listed right here. This file folder contains the syllabus, schedules, and various course policies. So if you click on it, you're going to find the course syllabus is right here, and you can click on the course syllabus and it should download to your computer. There's a course schedule, which is listed right here. And the course schedule tells you uh, the various due dates and assignment values for uh, all of the assignments you're going to have this semester. So I'm just going to go through this very briefly, and I'll probably talk about it in a little more detail uh, later in this video lecture. But one thing you're going to have to do is post on nearly every week. The only week you will not have to post to the discussion forum is week two. Uh, but you're going to have to post to uh, the discussion forum. And I have it listed right here as 150 points. That's 150 points for all of the discussions. Uh, together. Uh, each week the discussion will uh, forum post that you make will be worth 10 points. Uh, you'll also, and I'll talk a little bit more about those momentarily,